Thank you, Lynn. The, the thing that disturbs me about this moment is that I only have a moment. Uh, I'm supposed to talk to you about the North Carolina STEM Learning Network, and I'm going to. And I'm going to do that in a very brief fashion. I know that the Lieutenant Governor made reference to that this morning, and uh, I believe that it's a fairly important, maybe monumental opportunity for North Carolina to have a single point of entry to start the discussion about STEM. But I also want to say one thing about STEM, and that is, is that uh, I may know more about what you're going to hear next than anybody else in the room except the author, because I read this sucker uh, for the most part last night. And the reason I was able to read it is I was, uh, I was uh, not a very good reader when I was in school. And because I wasn't a very good reader, I didn't read every word. And I still do that, and it gets you through a book in a hurry. Stems mentioned, I think, nine times, nine or ten times throughout the manuscript in one fashion or another. If you talk about the future of America and the world, STEM will be mentioned frequently. But the thing that I love about this book is that it speaks to STEM the way I think about STEM, and that is the strategies that engage minds, not just science, technology, engineering, and math. And that means we're not content void. You've got to know the content before you can engage the mind. But if you only know the content, engagement doesn't always occur. You know, we've been in those classes. It can be pretty boring if you only have rigor and have no relevance, no real-world involvement of the information that you're learning. So because that's an issue and because education and the economy and STEM are connected at the hip for the future, and we ought to be talking about the economy and letting education be that that supports the economy rather than talking about education and assuming that the economy, economy will be cared for. If we talk about the economy, we've got more friends. We have more people who will be interested in what we do. And that's, that's critical in this day and age. So the North Carolina STEM Learning Network is a public-private partnership between, and this, this is historical, the University of North Carolina, the community college system, and K-12, pre-K-12. And I have a letter with all of those signatures, and I'm going to frame it. Did you get Tom Ross and Scott Rawls and June Atkinson on the same letter? I can't read Tom and Scott's signature, but it says that's what it is under it. That's, that's significant. Now, it's a letter of intent. It's non-binding, so whatever we get done will be out of the good faith of their efforts and agreement that it's important to North Carolina. You know, you, can't, you don't know where you're going unless you've got a scorecard. One of the deliverables from the STEM Learning Network, and I'm going fast because I only have much time, don't have much time. <clears throat> One of the deliverables from the STEM Learning uh, Network is a scorecard, a report card, a public statement of how North Carolina is doing on an agreed number of measures, benchmarked internationally, I hope. We've already mocked up the first of those report cards that will be the, the beginning point of discussion. You know, when you have a public report, a public report drives work and behavior. If you're going to put a statement out there of how well you're doing on any set of measures, that changes the way you behave in your organization. So we believe that report card is significant. It's intended to be an annual statement, but it also will be dynamic in that as, it, as things change longitudinally, the scores and the, the evidence of what's happening in K-12, community college, university, and commerce will be reported. You need a way to introduce information a one-stop site where people can go to find anything that they might need to know about STEM in a number of different arenas where information can be shared, where people can find information, where people can store learning tools, and on down the line. We're building a very dynamic portal, not a website, more than a website, but a portal. And it will be, I think, a tool that you're going to love and enjoy when we get it off the ground. We finish the design work. All we're looking for now is a little money <laughs> to finish the uh, design. And we've already had a little bit of an infusion from some outside sources who seem to like the fact that we have the STEM Learning Network as a point of entry that they can put their money and have some idea that they're going to get in return what they invested in. A 
Another thing that we're not doing well, and we haven't done a lot of work with this yet, is building a public awareness about STEM and innovation and creativity and the critical nature of both of those and letting moms and dads know that kids don't have to have a PhD to function in the STEM world. That with a two-year college experience, community college experience, and I hate this and love it, this is good and bad. With a two-year community college experience, you can enter the world of work making twice what teachers enter with. And that's not, I'm not making that up. That's, the, that's truth. But moms and dads don't know that and kids don't know it. There's not an awareness of the urgency that we're talking about when we start talking about science, math, and technology. The urgency's not there. And we sometimes miss it. We think it means just more science and math or just career tech. And it's not those two separated. We've got to tell that story. The next thing that we're concerned about is how we build networks. Networks make everyone more powerful. Networks grow the, the whole body of participants. What you can do in a network can be magnified compared to what you can do alone. And we've tried to do things alone for too long. So a part of the learning network effort will be to build a network. And by the way, you can already become a member of the North Carolina STEM Learning Network through the Department of Public Instruction. There are a set of attributes, a, set of, a rubric, a matrix that tells you where you are in that developmental stage. We also know that we need to focus on the common core in math. I, I, ooh, is that ever going to be fun? trying to get teachers, particularly at the elementary school level, who I love to death, I've been sleeping with the same one for 46 years. <laughs> but, you know, teachers at the elementary school level to teach mathematics that they don't necessarily know themselves. It's going to be a real interesting endeavor. We plan through this network to really focus on mathematics. Then the last thing, what does it mean to be STEM certified? What is a STEM certification? Well, I'm going to tell you what it is. It's what Tony's going to talk about, or he better, after I said that. He's going to talk about how you create environments where kids learn to be innovative and creative and do the things that allow them to function in a very complex society. So that means a whole different way of thinking about teacher training. It means a whole different way of thinking about what STEM capabilities are in the classroom. I define it as being able to answer any question that teachers are confronted with a, better, with a better question. Being able to command the content to the level that you answer any question with a better question that leads people in the right direction to understand what they don't know and need to know. And then, boy, it gets to be fun. That's the North Carolina STEM Learning Network quickly. Uh, described it didn't arrived that quickly. <laughs> it took uh, quite a bit of work, Tony and Carl, and I could go around the room. Uh, Mark, uh, I've missed some people for sure, who have spent hours talking about and debating this whole idea of STEM in North Carolina. I didn't bring you a bumper sticker, but anybody that wants one, I have bumper stickers that are being trademarked that say STEM, strategies that engage the mind. That's the story we have to tell. Thank you.